Oh my God, I don't even know where to start with this one. This might actually be the biggest rug in NFT history. Wes Mosley, the creator of Galactic Apes, and this one hurts me so much because I was actually invested in it. But basically, Wes is a savage. He let people on for four months and then promised something that he couldn't deliver. But for those of you that don't know, let me give you some context. Back in the end of November, he actually promised that he would have missions out in December. Not so bad, right? The problem is he actually promised that he would have missions out back in November and people are losing tens of thousands of dollars in the meantime while he's delaying this. And then we fast forward to January and he says this. It basically says, hey fam, sorry for rugging you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It doesn't actually say that. But it says, hey fam, my heart was in the right place. I'm sorry, I just wasn't able to keep up with the workload. I'm not the right guy for the job. I appreciate the support and know that I'll always be there for you. And then he cleanly just passes off all the responsibility to the new team, Space Yetis, that he has contracted to take over for him. And the craziest part of this all is literally just two days ago, he was saying, we're all going to make it if we stick together as a community. I mean, it's, it's so crazy how fast the tone shift was. I'm still in shock. So let's see what the community had to say about this. Ooh. All right. Let's see what we got. So we got Maz saying, at Wes, <laughs> sorry, we, we got Maz saying, at Wes went to get milk. He'll be back soon, don't worry. We also have Digi coming in saying, announcement seems bullish. It's like an indie dev sold the game to a larger company, which it actually does seem like that because he was not doing anything. It got so bad to a point, Wes didn't even want to come in a voice chat channel. Well, this is great. I'm heading home so as not to have to be here anymore. That shows his level of commitment to this project. We have Simi saying, this is one of the biggest rug pulls I've ever seen. And Reb saying, hard to grind with 10 million in your pocket. And <gasps> yeah, that's so true. It just seemed like after Wes got the money, he did not care about adding more utility to this project. Sometimes you got to stay hungry. And I hope that's what Space Yetis do when they take over this project. We got Jimmy saying, my boy hit the illest rug of the space so far. Respect. And it's actually kind of true because Wes might have pulled off one of the most elaborate rugs in the NFT space that I've ever seen. He really had us believing for like months that he was going to finally come through and he was going to finally start showing us some of the progress he's made and he'd been working so hard keeping his head down and he just pops up three months later with nothing and then just leaves this is this is honestly this is a rug so big that it's it's kind of impressive we got hypno saying swindled <laughs> i feel you on that one in the one shining moment of the night the one shining moment we have Dots from Kaiju Kings. If you don't know, that's another successful NFT project. We have Dots from Kaiju Kings saying, I'm interested in taking over Galactic Apes. So this might just be bullish news. He says, I got us. I got us, boys. So Dots might be able to take this out of the gutter and bring it back. But honestly, the Galactic Apes are in a tough spot right now. Because honestly, even if Dots does throw on the superhero cape and tries to bring this back to life, uh, I don't know, man. There's a lot of people that already got burned. There's a lot of people with big bags in this project. And it's going to be really hard to rebuild this. But with that being said, this is one of my favorite projects in the NFT space. So I really do hope for the best. It's just crazy how Wes can leave with millions of dollars and just throw 30 Ethereum at the new devs and say, make it work. I'm hoping for the best, but let me know what you think. But anyway, if you like this video, please like, subscribe. Oh, actually, wait. I gotta put this up. I'm just gonna leave that there. Like, subscribe, join the Discord community down below. Peace.